The importance of, of monitoring the ocean for human impacts uh, is multifold. Uh, in the case of my department, we're interested in using the most advanced methods to protect public health from pathogens that may come off the land. Our hope with this new droplet digital PCR assay is that this becomes a valuable tool for monitoring agencies so they can reduce the variability in their results and lower the chances of having false negatives. SCORP is the Southern California Coastal Water Research Project. We're a local government agency that does independent research on human impacts to the ocean. So the primary way that bacterial contamination reaches the ocean is through the storm drain system. And here in Southern California, you notice everything is paved over. Everything's engineered to prevent flooding. So when it rains or when there's runoff, uh, when a fire hydrant breaks, it all runs down to the beach just as fast as it can. So the main concern is public health risk due to human fecal contamination getting into water. So in order to protect public health, the waters are usually monitored regularly for fecal indicator bacteria such as intercoccus. However, the current monitoring method for intercoccus is cultural based, which is slow, takes a whole day to get the answer. So what we're trying to develop are um, genetic method that's fast and specific to organisms we want, we're interested in. So what we usually do is we take water samples from the beach, uh, storm drain or creek, we bring it back to the lab, we filter them to capture all the microorganisms on the filter. Then we um, extract DNA from um, the filters. And now the genetic material from the filter will be available for quantification by qPCR or digital PCR. Last year, EPA just proved a qPCR based method for monitoring intercoccus. But qPCR has its own shortcomings. Number one, it relies on external standard. Depending on where you get your standard, your answer could vary um, by half a log. The second thing is that um, because the environmental samples we get are very complex, they often contain chemicals that interfere with the cell chemistry, leading to false negative, which is very undesirable for public health protection. So there are three reasons why we're interested in, in droplet digital PCR. One, of course, is provides absolute quantification without the need for external standard. The second thing is that digital PCR is more robust against inhibition. The third thing is it allows multiplexing, which means you can measure multiple organisms at once. So the assay we have developed using uh, droplet digital PCR can measure intercoccus and human fecal bacteria daily at the same time, getting information on general fecal uh, pollution and human fecal pollution at the same time at a lower cost. So the results we're getting with the droplet digital PCR are more reproducible than qPCR and also more robust against inhibition. And so we are very happy about these two. That's what we set out to do. So our goal is to bring the best methodology for testing water to the entire country. But what we'd like to see is all the monitoring agencies replacing qPCR with the digital droplet PCR. And the reason for that is we feel it's going to be more accurate and better protect the public health. So with the droplet digital PCR, it's really exciting. It's a technology for the future and it really opens the doors to a lot of research questions we were not able to answer before. So a lot of new projects are getting started because of this technology. So it's fun, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm.